Uh, we then go backstage. Oh, we then have a, uh, yeah, I agree with this tweet. PCO's new entrance is so good as PCO is in black and white on the screen, lying in a gurney, uh, and then being brought to life with a car battery by medical professionals who clearly know what they're doing using a car battery, bringing someone back to life. Um, I... I will say PCL was looking a little slow in this match, which shouldn't be shocking given his age and given everything he's put his body through. But uh, maybe they need him to be a little more active if he's going to keep coming back uh, every once in a while and need that time to warm up. Uh, <laughs> I, this tweet saying, I feel like we need to get a PCO timeless Tony Storm combined entrance. Uh, that is definitely a classic meeting a horror film, and I'd be all for it. What, how much weirder can we get? Why not? Uh, we then go uh, to a backstage segment as AJ Francis, formerly known as Top Dalla, once again tries to reach out to Rich Swan in the locker room and pitches working together, talking about how on Explosion, yes, guys, TNA Explosion is back on Tuesdays. You could watch it. I don't know if I'm going to cover it here uh, because I'm sure they go over most of it on Impact. But uh, after Swan lost to Hendry, uh, who Anthony Francis does have beef beef with, he is trying to get back in Rich Swan's good graces. Uh, Producer Boy, can you pull that back up? I didn't really get a chance to read it. Uh, Francis tweeting, but if I go poaching for ivory horns and all of a sudden I'm the bad guy, shaking my head. Uh, that alluding to, after once again being rebuffed, by uh, Rich Swan, Rhino walks by, and Francis thinks he's going to be able to convince Rhino to team up, but Rhino tells him to politely fuck off. He says that's why rhinos are going extinct, and then tries working over Swan again. 